at the studios on a new day and later on we'll be having Kofi Ajololo and all of your favorite stars right here but now we are talking legacy girls college I didn't get the opportunity to go to a girls school I've always wondered what the experience is like but we have representatives here Mrs. Nancy Dia is head of the school and Mrs. Irene Hagen is marketing and projects manager of the school apparently legacy girls college is Ghana's first private senior high school Nancy, tell us what motivated you to start the school. Tell us a bit about that. Though a lot has been done in the education and empowerment of the girl child mm. and women in general, our two founders, Dr. Ellen, Mrs. Hagan, and Mrs. Esia Nosaki, having gone to a girl's school and also worked their way through the corporate world, realized that there is a lot more to be done in this field. Mm. And therefore, creating a unique platform that is Legacy Girls College, to help empower, train, and nurture women to become the best they can be. But what made you decide to make it a single-sex school? There definitely is power in commonality. Right. So having the girls together, um, training, teaching them according to their unique features, mm. helps um, make it possible for them to be the best, especially to become what we call our three Cs, confident, competent, and caring mm -hmm. in whatever they choose to be, wherever they are, in this fast-changing and complex world we find ourselves in. So um, you spoke about features. Um, yes. by, unique, by unique features, what do you mean? Because people will be thinking they are girls, so you're probably talking about something else. What do you mean by unique features? Girls are sensitive. Mm. So the style and method of teaching is definitely different when you're teaching both girls and boys in a classroom mm. you need to pay special attention you need to give them certain words that encourage them and also having them together and teaching them gives them the courage that they'll be able to do it wherever they they find themselves when they're in a classroom with boys um, they may feel that competition let me fight against them rather right. than do my best to complement what the what boys do. can do mm. yes irene now in 2014 um um, just 14 um, students were admitted in the school. Can you tell us why that limited number of uh, students were admitted? Okay, so um, it's the school started in 2015, 2015. and with 13 girls. Mm. And um, I want to clarify this, it's the first all-girls private school. Mm. First all-girls private right. school. Yes, so just to put that across, I think we missed that when mm. we started. Mm. Okay, so the purpose for um, you're asking why we um, admitted, admitted such 13 limited girls. Of, yeah. Okay, so that was also because of um, our capacity at the time, the facilities we had available and other resources. But now, um, to the glory of God, we've grown over the um, years and we have about 240 girls right. with us now. And our, our facilities has also have also increased. So we do have... Um, um, swimming like a swimming pool mm. we have um, ultra modern labs science labs we do have a multi-purpose hall we have water filtration system greenhouses and many more we also have small classroom sizes which is intentional mm. we want the girls to get the best of um, education and care mm -hmm. uh, uh, dormitories are also um, spacious clean and we take a, a maximum of 14 girls per dormitory so all is part of the, our growth process so um, in a class, yeah. um, you want them to be together, mm -hmm. to be, you know, uh, learn to be each other's keeper. How many students do you have in each class now? The maximum um, number of students we take is 30 per class, 30. but that's the highest. Mm. Our regular classes are between 15 and 20 girls. Mm. We even have less, depending on your course combinations. You can have um, classmates with just um, 6 to 10, mm. but yeah depending on the combinations you choose. Now, is there any challenge that uh, students that come to Legacy Girls College face? Do they face any challenges? I wouldn't call them challenges. Mm. I'd rather call them the great experiences the girls go through at Legacy to help them think out of the box um, to achieve the best. Right. For example, uh, academic enhancement programs that the girls have to go through um, one of them is the student encounter, which lets the girl 
research on various topics and educates the whole school. So that's a mm. great experience rather than a challenge. Is there a support system you know, for students who come from a poor background? Because you're talking about just putting just 20 to 30 people in a class. That means that, you know, not too many people are in there. Is there a support system for people that, you know, can't uh, necessarily afford tuition there? Definitely. A collaboration with each girl's parents um, in regard to academic and well-being, total well-being of the girl. Right. Ensures that there is solid support for the girl. In addition, our orientation of new students also um, ensures that the girls get um, a good grounding and a sense of belonging for life at Legacy. Tell us what criteria is used to uh, select students for scholarship in Legacy Girls College. Okay. So, <clears throat> sorry. So first of all, um, the scholarship system is open to um, brilliant girls um, from deprived backgrounds. So under the normal circumstances, they mm. won't be able to afford the legacy education. So we give all girls who are intelligent the opportunity to come to legacy and also have a feel of what we are doing there. You first of all must have the BEC um, um, certificate. So you should have written BEC and you should be between the ages of 13 to 18. Mm. Yes, please. Now we have someone that um, was um, picked for scholarship in Legacy Girls College. Let's check that out. I'm Fatima Salami, a beneficiary of the Legacy Girls College Scholarship. I'm a proud member of the Achievers Ghana I and need, also um, a member of the Shumiko to... Academy for my known as Technic Girls. I was born in the Eastern region in a town called Akwetia. Um, right? I schooled there from childhood and we moved to Accra, I think, eight years ago. I was in the Institute of Islamic Studies and I wanted a change in my life because things were not going the way I wanted it to be. So at a point in time, I wanted a change in my educational life. My daddy stopped working and for my mom too, things were not going on right with her. Fatih expressed to me the challenges that she was having in terms of being able to have her parents pay for her to go to secondary school. At the time, there was no free SHS. So she let me know that she was looking for the opportunity to be a house help so that she could make some money to continue to be able to support herself to go through senior secondary school. I remember when I got the call from Madam Hagen saying that there was a scholarship opportunity available for one of our girls to go to Legacy Girls. I was very excited. It was so perfect because that's just what I was looking for. So I called Fatih and I let her know and she was also very excited. It was actually a surprise but she called me and then she asked me whether I would like to attend a girls school. Without hesitating I said yes and then I called my dad I told him about it. They were initially shocked that she was going to get a four-year scholarship um, for senior secondary school and didn't have to pay a dime. In fact they couldn't believe it and I was so happy that we could see one of the girls from our program in Nima continue to senior secondary school, hopefully continue to university, and continue to be able to realize her full potential. My experience in the school, like, let's say for the first week, I was nervous and uncomfortable because um, the students who were coming were coming from different background in terms of finance and I was a little bit intimidated, but the principal again called me and then encouraged me. I told her about my problems. I told her I was, I was facing. So you can be like Fatima and also head over to Legacy uh, Girls College, you know, for the best of education. Now, Nancy, who are you looking for support from? Because, of course, if you are giving a scholarship like this, you would need it. Okay. We would like to help as many girls up as possible um, assess the Legacy education. Mm. So we're calling on all corporates, individuals, groups, anybody who is touched by the spirit of giving to contribute to our scholarship scheme fund so that we'll be able to help a lot more girls 
such as FATI, join Legacy Girls for a quality education. Irene, how do we contact Legacy Girls if we want to donate, if we want to attend the school? What do we do? Okay, <clears throat> you can reach us via our website on mm. www.lgc.edu.gh and then on our school contact number 030-9655. 0309655333 about the sponsorship. Mm. Please call 0244 244937. 0244 244937. Someone will attend to you. 244927 is the number to call when you're trying to reach Legacy Girls school you know i have had my education already i've always wanted to you know experience such a school this one is like a that be one but yeah you can reach out to them and then take all your girls there for the quality of education